Barbara Walters presents. If you could describe the Michael Jackson trial in one sentence, what would it be? A disgrace. One of the most important and powerful figures in the African-American community is a white lawyer from West Point, New York. This year, Tom Mesereau successfully defended Michael Jackson and had us asking, who's the guy with the long hair? Love him or hate him, nearly everyone agreed that the Michael Jackson trial was a thriller. Everyone but Tom Mesereau, that is. If you could describe the Michael Jackson trial in one sentence, what would it be? A disgrace. The jury system prevailed in this case, but much of what else went on was just very disturbing to me. For almost five months, Michael Jackson's child molestation trial dominated the headlines, and Mesereau dominated the prosecution. You said that you never doubted that you would win the case against Michael Jackson. Why were you so sure? Because I thought the case was built on sand. It was a case built on falsehoods. It never should have been brought. And I really thought this jury had what it took to see that. It was Mesereau's tough tactics and confident demeanor that helped convince the jury that Jackson was not guilty on all 14 counts of child molestation. What do you think would have happened had Jackson been found guilty? I considered the Michael Jackson case to be a death penalty case. I did not think Michael Jackson would have survived prison. Tell me about Michael Jackson. I mean, even during the trial, there were times when he was very odd. Did you talk to Michael about the business of children sharing his room? And the fact is, kids went into his room. Their parents were there, too. The parents were allowed to stay over with the children. And the way it was mischaracterized and mispresented to try and get a conviction was scandalous. It was wrong. The son of a lieutenant colonel in World War II, Thomas Arthur Mesereau grew up at West Point. His legal career began as a prosecutor, but his sympathies were always with the underdog. Despite whatever advances this country makes in the area of civil rights, I still feel that people of color are devalued constantly in our society, and I do what I can to fight against it. He volunteers his time at a legal clinic in South Los Angeles. He mediates disputes between gang members and local authorities. He is a member of a prominent African-American church. In fact, it was Mesereau's work in the African-American community that appealed to Jackson. Despite his public profile, he keeps his personal life private. He's currently dating actress and activist Minnie Fox, who has two children from a previous relationship. One thing about Mesereau, he's not afraid of standing out. So I have to ask you about your hair. Now, why do you wear it long? Are you trying to project a particular image? No, I just feel very comfortable with it long. I think it's me. I have never been totally comfortable with a lot of members of my profession who seem to want to conform to one another, wear the same clothes, the same ties, uh, present the same look. Mesereau continues to give Jackson legal advice, even though Jackson now resides 8,000 miles away in the Middle Eastern country of Bahrain. He was really battered emotionally and physically by this five-month trial, and he has told me that he really loves the environment and loves the people. Do you think that people will be able to forget this trial and the accusations? Well, he was vindicated. He's a great human being, and I have no doubt that he'll come back musically if he wants to. Thank you for watching our 10 Most Fascinating People.